Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at some of the best live activity apps that you can get for your iPhone in 2023. Now live activities has been introduced with iOS 16.1 and it's actually a really, really great feature. Hopefully Apple will keep updating this feature, make it even better. And then we can take advantage of these amazing things that we can do on the lock screen, even without having to unlock the device. Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys who watch my videos are currently not yet subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Now we're starting things off with Timer. Now Timer is an app that will allow you to set timers really quickly and you can have multiple timers. And what's really cool is that you can have those multiple timers even on your lock screen as live activities. So it won't just show you one timer at a time. You can set maybe two timers and you will have them on your lock screen. So of course, when you have the same from two from two like different live activities from one app, they will be stacked like this, but you can just tap here to expand them and you can see both of your timers or even more at the same time, which is a really, really great feature to have. Next up is Dynamic X. Now Dynamic X is a really interesting app that lets you have have really important data right on the lock screen of your device. So here we have a couple of different live activities from this app. Now it offers some for free, some will have to be paid for. So if we go to one of these, we can just tap on it and actually customize on what we will see on that live activity. So you can see it has all the different formats, but if we tap on the live activity one, we can choose what we want to see. So in this case, we have the network here. We can have the memory, like let's say the RAM memory, the free RAM memory, right there and you can see a lot of them are locked but some of them are actually unlocked which you can use without having to pay now from here we can also go to theme and you can see a few different themes that you can apply and you can see a lot of those are actually those that are paid but we have a few here that are free as well so once you're done with this you can tap on save and then from here you can just go ahead and start the live activity of whichever one of these we want so here we have one for the network so it will basically monitor your network the speeds of download and upload and all that so if we just tap right there and go to the lock screen there we have the live activity with the updates of our network transfers my list is the next one now this one is really cool it will be very very useful especially if you're traveling now right here you can go ahead and create like if you tap on new message you can create a title a content and you can see also right here the lock screen preview so what you can create here is maybe different like reminders or anything that you need to know like this one right here i can create a reminder the title the content i can choose right here a custom icon and then of course have this on my lock screen or again as i said if you're traveling this will be really useful so you will have of course the airport the time the gate and all that you can just enter it right here so you can see it shows you just select transportation right there maybe medication or whatever you need and then it will show you all the options here so if we tap on save then we can go ahead and have this on the live activity and if we go to the lock screen, there we have it. Now we have all the details that we need to know on our lock screen without having to unlock our device. Next up is Bike Map. Now, Bike Map is a really great app. If you love biking, then you will find a lot of routes here. But what's really cool that is that you will see those routes on your lock screen via live activities and you can also start recording your own route so if you find a new route maybe on your city you want to record it so then it will be displayed on the app for other users you just tap on start right there and it will actually start recording so let me just enable location services here so once you have found a new route you can just tap on start right here it will start recording that route and when you go to your lock screen you will see this which is actually really really cool and it shows a lot of information like of course it shows right there the speed it will show you the altitude the time that you have been recording and all that stuff which of course will be really really important next up is my moves now my moves will track your fitness Maybe you're walking, riding a bike, running, maybe even driving a car. You can track the speed and the, 
distance and all that with this app so let's say we're running we tap right there now we have to do now is tap on start once you tap start here of course it will start in five seconds there it will record everything so it will have time speed average speed and distance as well if we go to the lock screen there we have it and it actually looks really really nice and you can see all the different information that you have from the time to altitude speed maximum speed average speed and the distance as well so everything you need to know about your current activity right on your lock screen without of course having to use the app at all next up is lock screen 14 now this is really cool it offers a lot of stuff like of course the ability to open apps directly from your lock screen and then gif widget which will actually add animated live activities to your lock screen so if we just tap right there we will have a few different ones we can choose from and these will animate your lock screen so they will show like this all the time you can even customize these like maybe change the background here pick any color of the background you want or add these different gradients right here make it look really really different so it's an amazing app and it again offers a lot like contacts on your lock screen any photo that you want on your lock screen health widget timer you have calendar your social you can follow anyone and see the followers on your lock screen then you will have the to-do list timers and you will have countdowns as well which is again really cool so you enable one of them head onto the lock screen and there you will have it it looks really nice and again it has a lot to offer now similar to this one is also another app called shelf now with shelf you will be able to create your own live activities so what you will have here is maybe friends and family you can add a photo right there which will be displayed right on your lock screen so pick any photo you want from your photos library so there you have it just like that you load a picture tap on save and you're good to go you can launch this and then you will have it right on your lock screen so the photo that you want maybe of your family or anyone you want you can have it right on your lock screen going back into the app we have other things like you have like daily affirmations your social apps and productivity as well so you can add maybe a shortcut or things like that right on your lock screen so you can open them directly from there next up is big text now this one is fairly simple you just enter any text you want maybe an emoji or anything you can actually have it right on your lock screen you tap right there at the top tap on start live activity and you will have it on your lock screen being displayed like this now this is a more simple one it actually maybe it's not that useful but it allows you to just display anything you want here on the lock screen next up is budget now this is an app that will let you keep track of your finances of course income expenses and all that it's a pretty useful app and now it also offers lock screen live activities so if you just want to keep track of something like this one right here have housing and utilities you go ahead and just enter anything you need here like this one and you're good to go you go to settings here you will have live activity and you can choose what you want to enable there so here we have trends so it will show us the trends for the last seven days in this case so i can have it right on my live activity here so i can know how much i have spent any any of the days here you can see by just keeping a look at the trends which is really really useful you can also choose the transactions. so if you want to see the transactions and maybe disable that or use both of them at the same time you can do that as well so head on to your lock screen and you will see the expenses for the today right here and last but not least is grocery so you go to the store you have a list of groceries you want to buy you don't have to unlock your device and go into an app or notes every time you want to do that you will have the app right here just enter the items very easy to use very simple ui and once you want to just start the live activity you select one of those and you can see it will be displayed right there on the live activity and then you will have here everything that you will have to buy it shows the number of items and also what you have to buy right here pretty simple to use and again very very useful so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps that you saw in this video if you want to download any of these apps make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one